Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and welcome to a lore speculation video about Stormblood. There's been a lot of discussion about the two-minute teaser trailer that we received at the North American Fan Festival, and I have a series of videos to go over some of the things that we've seen in that trailer. Now, that being said, nothing here should be taken as fact unless otherwise stated. We will specifically note when things are speculation versus fact. This video alone will cover the identity of the woman in the trailer. We will not be discussing her potential class or job, as that is going to be a topic for another video. Before we dive into the different theories about who this character is, let's start with some facts about the woman in the trailer, and some observations. So, the woman in the trailer has blue eyes and long blonde hair. She is proficient in some form of Chinese martial arts, though she does also appear to use some new techniques including using her garb and moving differently than her opponent, but like I said, talking about what this actually means is a topic for another time. She has no visible neck tattoos, though she does have a choker covering a portion of her neck. She is fighting in Ralgar's Reach, the base of operations for the Alamegan Resistance in Stormblood. She is fighting the trailer's depiction of the Warrior of Light, the same character that we call Derplander, who has been present in all of the previous trailers. While some people may be thinking that though Derplander is indeed the Warrior of Darkness, that was just the easiest way for them to denote the opposition to the Warrior of Light. She is also not just fighting the Warrior of Light, she is actually sparring, hinting at them knowing each other quite well at the time of the scene. We know her identity will be revealed in patch 3.5. Now before we dive into theory number one, let's just talk about the character we all know who we're going to be comparing her to, Ida. So Ida, the pre-expansion patches, are pushing her as a frontrunner for being one of the most important characters in the expansion. Ida has tattoos on her neck as part of her initiation into the Sherlan culture. Papalimo is actually the one who gave Ida her mask. Ida has blue eyes and short blonde hair. This can be noted in two different scenarios. When her mask was cut in patch 2.55 in Ulda, and an appearance from back in 1.0 where she is seen without her headgear. Ida's one true wish is to wrestle her homeland back from the Garlean control, as noted in the lore book Encyclopedia Eorzea. Ida was 20 years younger when Alamigo was taken over. Despite this, in patch 3.4, Gundabold states that after 20 years, she looks, and I quote, nary a day older. Ida, as we know her, is a pugilist, using the Gut Wrenchers as her weapon of choice, as noted in Encyclopedia Eorzea. These are distinctly fist weapons christened by Ida herself. They are precious to her. And finally, we found out recently that Ida has a sister that we've never met, whom was rejected by the Charlians while Ida was accepted under Papalimo. After years of wandering the Dravanian hinterland scavenging for food and trying to survive after the Alamegan occupation by the Garlians, that was when Ida was actually taken under as a Charlayan student. Her sister's current whereabouts and appearance are unknown. So with those facts out of the way, let's move strictly into speculation. Now keep in mind everything I say from this point on, while I will cite some things that may support these, these are not facts and will not be confirmed until at the least patch 3.5. I would also like to state some unconfirmed news as well. So let's start with the most common theory about this character. The fighter in the video is indeed Ida. Now, some supporting facts for that. She has the same eye and hair color as Ida, as well as similar facial structures if you compare them side by side. She is shown doing martial arts. With Monk being a job native to Alamigo and Ida's role being that of a pugilist, it is not unlikely that she greatly improves her skills at some point. Although, then again, the job in this video is not confirmed to be Monk. In the trailer, she seems to know the Warrior of Light well based on her demeanor when sparring with him. Now, while there are a few facts to prove that it is Ida, there are also facts to disprove this speculation. For one, our Ida has neck tattoos that take up quite a bit of space that are not present on the female in the trailer. While she is wearing a choker in the Stormblood trailer, it doesn't appear to be big enough to mask the entirety of where the tattoos would be placed. Also, however, Square Enix has misused details on characters in the past. In the Heavensward trailer, the dragon we fought outside of Ishgard was shown to be the same model as Hrace Felger, as well as a great number of the dragons that attacked Ishgard in the later scene. It is possible that the neck tattoos were deliberately omitted to throw us off of Ida's scent, or to at least make the reveal a little bit more exciting. Perhaps the tattoos are somehow removed as well, but that's something for another time. 
Another fact that's a bit less important is that this character has much longer hair than Ida. While it may be the same color, it is indeed a great deal longer, but considering we don't know the time lapse between now and the expansion, that's hardly proof of anything. Another detail is that this fighter is clearly far more advanced than Ida in her techniques. While her motivation to release her homeland may lead to her giving up her Charlayan roots to train more, it would be quite an improvement over her current skills. Again, we don't know the time lapse though, so it may be more than enough time. One of the big ones for me, however, is that she's missing her signature gut wrenchers. Since she christened these weapons herself, they likely hold much value to her and it's unlikely she would throw them away. It is possible that she removes them to erase her hidden history and start anew as a proper defense for the Alamegan resistance. I also want to state this since I know if I don't, it will definitely come to me in the comment section, but there is a rumor that a member of one of the Square Enix teams called the woman from the trailer Ida on the second day live stream. Now, I have not verified this for myself, therefore I will not consider it a fact when considering her identity. That being said, as soon as I watch the stream, I'll know whether or not it was said. There's also a question of the context in which it was said, perhaps a personal opinion projected as stating it as a fact. But like I said, it's unconfirmed for me, but I knew somebody would mention it in the comment section if I didn't mention it here. That covers all theory one, so let's move on to theory number two. The girl in the trailer is Ida's sister. So again, supporting facts, there really are a lot fewer of these because we've never met this character. It's pretty much the same as Ida herself, but with so little knowledge of Ida's sister, it's impossible to determine any more facts that can prove this. The biggest tell is that she doesn't have the neck tattoos while looking eerily similar to Ida with longer hair. There's as little information to disprove this as there is information to prove this, but just remember, the absence of evidence is not the evidence of absence. I don't know if that applies here. Anyway, we simply don't know enough. We especially don't know specifically if they were twin sisters, just that they were sisters. With theory number two out of the way, these last two really have very little information, but are just some fan theories that are floating around. Theory number three, this girl is completely unrelated to Ida and her family. There is really very little information for this theory at all, and it's the most unlikely of the three we've named so far. Some speculate that this girl could be Ursula, the daughter of Yang from Final Fantasy IV. While I won't rule it out, it's also possible that Ida's father is indeed Yang in the realm of Final Fantasy XIV. After all, Kryl is the granddaughter of Galuf in Final Fantasy V, and we know that Kryl has a grandfather that is part of the students of Baldessian, the founder of it, and we know that Galuf's best name was Galuf Baldessian. Her father is also never explicitly named, and Gundabal does mention having fought alongside both Ida and her father, whose name, again, is unknown. And finally, theory number four, that we've been traveling with Ida's sister all this time under the guise of Ida, and that the real Ida is still in hiding. This is the most unlikely theory of the four, and it is only substantiated by what we don't know. Papalimo regrets giving the Ida that we know the mask, but this doesn't even come close to proof, considering that the mask could be to hide her identity from the Garleans. However, with the lack of information about what happened to Ida's sister and Ida herself within the Dravanian hinterlands itself, again, we can only speculate. Which theory do I lean towards? After reconsidering the facts here, I am most likely leaning towards that the fighter in the video is indeed Ida, and that the neck tattoos were omitted to ensure that her reveal would not come prematurely. So let me know, what are your thoughts? Be sure to comment in the comment section of the video below about which character you think this is. Remember, we're talking about the character, not her job. Trust me, we'll get into that in the next video. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more information about Final Fantasy XIV's next expansion, Stormblood. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, take care.